with it. It looks like they've actually did make their way into spawn right now, which means that we're going to start. They see Merlin running around with the um, with the quick fix. I'm quite sure. And look, look at how fast he's in the middle. I love it, bro. Oh he's my with God, the devil, look man. at what? it. <laughs> Frodo infused. Frodo's prepared, ladies and gentlemen. They've practiced this stuff. They got and a heavy as look well. The heavy's on the top right gun. now as well. I'm loving it, GPS. What's going on, man? Frodo versus infused. Golly wash here, the ESA unlocks cup that we see. I'm loving it, Broder has come prepared. Here comes the quick fix though. Does lose the medic though um, to uh, Roller from Kata's. Uh, Marilyn went down there. But they still have a momentum, they still got their heavy with them. Is he running the gloves around urgently? I believe he is. Uh, he must be, he must be. Yeah, no he way that he's is. not running that, yeah, of course. So, uh, wow, the Jukebox now on Sniper, they're just off-classing all over the place, new meta. I, I said it, right? I said it. Like, in a pre-game, this is... Broder likes doing this. They like yeah. um, sort of stretching out and see how far they can, you know, reach the normalness. In yeah, like, who needs soldiers ridiculousness, anyway? basically. It's quite <laughs> nice. So, right now, Two Nuts is hanging around at 100% Uber. They're hanging around in this lobby area, gonna go up on this uh, balcony. Let's see if... Uh, Anything's gonna happen. A soldier jumping in. Oh, nice air pipe there. Connecting nicely. That's the thing. If you obviously know there's a quick fix on the other side, so they're gonna try and break through with the regular Uber. This is the heavy that's being healed up with the regen that it obviously the quick fix gives. It looks like. I... Yeah, like, like Seversize just gotta face tank this, right? Do you see? Like, he's just face tanking that with the quick fix. They know exactly how much damage he can take. And right there, 375 HP of massive steel fighting against pretty much everything else. Double scout coming in. Great play from Rib. Takes down one. Gonna be able to deal with the second one though. As Sam's you right now, he's trying to make something happen. T Mac comes from the side, not getting the damage done just yet. As Rip stays alive, no problem whatsoever. And Infused seems to be broken at this moment in time. Myerlin's gonna stay alive, quick fixing once again. Make sure he gets uh, the health done as well. Obviously, yeah. if the target. What is the rule again on the quick fix? If the target is already buffed, you get the regen. What is it? I, I think so. Yeah, no, like you get the regen anyway. They they fix it now. But now uh, Myerlin's oh, right. gonna have. An oh, huge sticky trap <laughs> gets Rip and Sebosai went down. Yeah, I was just going to say earlier, like, if the medic is with the heavy, you can't really bomb him, because, you know, anti-aircraft gun is pretty good. Yeah. Big fix back there from Maryland going in with double scout. Oh, wait, really? Is the, oh, my God. Revolution Lamenta game. Guys, they got fourth in ETF 12 this season, but I want the quick fix allowed already to season 15. Did you see what Broder just did? They just quick fixed in from main and just said, our scouts will not die. Because they quick fix and yeah, we they just let also them run get towards their the point. They got it done. To middle. Look how fast is this? Like they have a fully <laughs> healed demo on the middle point as they start. Yeah. Like how? What's Infused answer to this? Uh, like, the, qu the question is: Is Infused is, is Infused focused? Because Cadis immediately went down. He has never played against this, right? Broder comes prepared. Yeah. They know exactly what they're doing at the moment, and the way they're playing is pretty damn fantastic. Zap is running that winger action as well. If you did not see it just a second ago, he is running that. And obviously, a little bit of those additions with regards to the weapons and anything. Broder seems to have, seems to have come prepared. They know exactly what they're oh, doing. Chris oh, great shot right there. And we, we said this the last game. They know we have his GPS. We, we said it. The crit screen seems to be the heavy counter towards that quick fix because. You can regen all you want, but if you get insta give, it really doesn't matter how much regen you actually have. So the crit streak yeah. works perfectly fine against that. They do get a favorable exchange. Rip is still alive. Let's see if he can do anything. I doubt it though. As if he was going to push up, get some spawn damage done here as well. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, Sebasai is still running that heavy, which means, uh, like, any kind of bombs, if uh, his medic is with him, is not going to be too effective. So, if Infuse play, like, very soldier bomb oriented, it's not really going to work out for them that well. So let's see here, they got a heavy, let's see, yeah, he's gonna move into position here, jump in with, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe that, yeah, they, like, in all honesty, I think Infuse is trying to figure it out right now, they, they kind of have figured it out, they're like, okay, right, you guys with your fancy weapons, cool as it is, engineer right now for Jukebot, like, Broder, they're taking this to the next level, right, they're not using one weapon, they're using all of them, they want to practice everything they can. And I think Broder very much so is very enjoying this as Ips now goes down to, to Rib as he gets those pipes there onto Cadis. Cadis goes down, a lot of pressure on towards that point. Myrlin so far seems to be perfectly fine. Thalash and Samsi dealing out the damage though. 99 HP at the moment between the two. Engineer comes out and a seven side spawns the shotgun of the Engineer. This is the craziest Team Fortress 2 I've seen in a long time. I'm loving it as Broder, even though it is all as ridiculous as he can, they are more prepared than anything. Look at what he, look at that short circuit there in the door. I'm loving it, FUSDPS, dude. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. 
Like, you can disarm a uh, Sinky Trap with that pretty easily. It's just one shot, and it takes it all out. Sebosai going crazy with that Engineer Shotgun. Killing Ips. It's just like, wow, they're just building sentries now on Saiyan as well. Is <laughs> so it, apparently, I'm accused have had enough of this, so they're running a heavy of their own. It's, this is the thing, GPS. This is the thing, right? I I only like cups like these when the teams actually come prepared, right? Like if yeah. they have strategies to make this happen. And Broder, they figured it out throughout the day because you got to keep in mind, guys. These teams have been playing for the past four hours with these unlocks, right? So slowly but surely, they've made their way towards what they like doing, and it seems like Infused has figured it out. How to counter a quick fix engineer push is by crit squeaking a heavy from far away. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. It's a heavy sniper. Perfectly fine. Yeah, so it seems like we're we're starting to move into a more like rock paper scissor thing with the medic medigun. When you think about it, actually, I think that is quite accurately said because right now Myrlin's running medigun. So yeah. he switched that over. He said, "Okay, this quick fix thing that's not going to work against the crit squeak. Let's switch it out." Yeah. And so it seems like you have with yeah. this uh, quick fix, you have like more options, uh, a bit more depth, like answers to what you want to do. Like, if you keep losing uber fights, maybe quick fix is uh, the better choice for you. So we've seen uh, medics uh, change around their uh, medigans now. So I, I, Nuts is going to come in here with this crit Krieg. <laughs> try at least get someone in right there up the front. That's not going to work. Look at and that! Short engineer shut down. Deleting all those uh, projectiles. Pretty damn sick, actually. I like that one. Is the yeah, Krieg yeah. not going to have any effect towards that top right-hand side? I, in all honesty, I think Cadis is confused about where the hell his stickies went suddenly. But he's going to figure that one out shortly. As the scripture can completely nullify, Marilyn, all Marilyn staffs that Uber ready to rock and roll. Jukebox is running that pyro towards the main side. He gets taken down and infused them. Broder going out for the weirdest fight I've ever seen these two have. Yeah, this is pretty pretty out of the uh, ordinary, I have to say. Marilyn now at 100%, uh, two nuts. Uh, almost uh, crits Krieg fairly soon, so let's see if uh, they're going to be able to make a push with this. However, there is Sentries up, but they do run the crits heavy once again. Uber is popped. Level 3 sentry in the corner. Not sure if it's been spotted, but uh, T Mac with a body shot on the uh, jukebox taking him down. <laughs> so far, quite an equal one. Is this going to be a backup? Yes, it is. Ladies and gentlemen, an engineer is not very good at walking back towards a point. A soldier can jump, obviously, an engineer cannot. Uh, I can tell you that one. His brother's going to lose out on that round. The score now, ladies and gentlemen, 1 0 on the board. And is there any weird things that we're seeing? We can see T-Mac actually sniping right now. I heard he had ping issues. All that realized, you know what? This whole roaming thing—that's not going to work, especially against the heavy. Let's just, let's just pick the sniper rifle instead. See if we can work it out this way. Broder versus Infused, and Infused finally manages to pick up a middle here. Yeah, and um, it seems like they the uh, Infused had more of an answer to Broder's um, quick fix demo man push on, onto the uh, middle point, where they just. Killed the medic and then everything fell apart. So uh, a nice push there. They have an Uber. We'll charge and everything. They got T Mac on the sniper still. So um, I'm not sure. I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, there's a little sticky trap here. Has it been spotted? It's a pretty standard sticky trap spot, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of stand. In all honesty, I think pretty much every single sticky trap right now is standard. <laughs> As obviously the teams have been playing these maps for so long, things are standard. I can only assume JPS and Highlander is the exact same thing on Bad World. Everyone knows every single spot. That's the way it is. There's obviously Infused right now. Gonna crits on their way into last. Infused. Talash goes down first. T Mac goes down to Jukebox's rifle as well. And really, there's nothing they can seem to be doing against this sort of double short circuit that's coming out for Broder. The meta is changing, ladies and gentlemen. among one ESA tournament at the time. That seems to be the way it is. Well, Broder is kind of turtling at the moment, where they can defend, but they can't really move out. So I'm not really sure what they're trying to do. Maybe just prove a point that... Uh... If we defend, we can defend for as long as we like. But, there's, uh, there's one thing I want to do, is that as soon as Two Nuts is going to push out... Actually, let's do it right now. I want to listen to the broader comms, GPS. Let's listen. Go on, they have a heavy big door. Uh, I'm weak. Let's go on them, come on. Oh, I'm going here. Sniper charge. I'm so bad. I, I've got jugs. It's got a behind point. You. Get sniper behind point. Oh, heavy big door. Is that Cho? 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 Thank you. Yeah, they're going back. We're gonna get heavy. They might push now. They should. Yeah. Just. Do they have Chris still? No, no, they don't. No, they use. No, they use. Heavy top left. Top left. Sink it top left fast. No, then. You can't see it. Something over size. Oh, don't worry. Up in three. Heavy top left. Watch out for sniper race for now. They have Chris at one star, right? Yeah, they do. They have it now. Can we stay closer? Come back from. Watch out from balcony. I'll snipe there. Yeah, I'm not. 
Okay, we're going to go towards a little bit of a low, obviously, considering that Marilyn has to build the rock. behind enemy lines. Oh. There is a spy. Ips, can he do it? No, he's got spotted. It's okay. He's not going to die to that one. You know what I like? You know what I very much so like GPS? Is, did you hear the seriousness in Broder's comms? Yeah. Even though all these weapons are being thrown in, all these things that Broder's doing is completely insane, they're still just going to run this as often as they can. And now with the short circuit out of the way, Say, I know how to do with these stickies. I can do this one, no problem. He's gonna sticky that one up. Jukebox goes down, but Broder dodging that one well with their Uber charge of themselves. They're gonna make their way towards the second point. With Kate is down, they should have no problem picking this one up. The question is, how aggressive are they gonna be straight afterwards? Because Two Nuts is running that crit streak and Infused having a little bit of a go towards this choke on side. They're not doing it for the time being. They're dropping out, and I can only assume Broder's gonna make their way into middle here in just a few seconds. Yeah, so uh, both teams just seems to be holding a bit back here, having a bit of a poke uh, at the middle point here. Double scouts on the point, and uh, yeah, T Mac is still on that sniper. Uh, Jukebox is on sniper as well. Takes on T Mac, so that's uh, sniper advantage for Broder. Let's see if they're going to be able to do anything with this uh, little advantage that they have. So besides walking with a sentry gun across middle, guys, when is the last time we saw this? In six uh, versus six, where Zemisai is making his way around with his sentry gun. He's got to put it on their side of the map, but might as well. And then obviously next time, they know there's a crit streak on the two nuts, right? Like, this is the thing. They know they it's, they know it's there, and they're kind of waiting for it. But Zemisai is just going to be walking around with that short circuit, and I I'm going to look at Zemisai. I want to see this because I'm quite sure he's going to be pocketing that that choke area. And he's just going to put buildings all over the place while short-circuiting short circuiting every single crit sticky away. Because, yes, ladies and gentlemen, his aim is that good. So we're going to have to wait and see. I'm watching Zebra's side at the moment. He's just sitting onto that choke site with, with that sentry gun. It's the weirdest sight you've ever seen, ladies and gentlemen. But it is the way it is. He's sitting around that choke, getting everything out of the way. There's a little bit of a lull at the moment. Myrlin is running that regular uber charge against the crit streak. They kind of want to get the crits out of the way. And it looks like Infused, they're going to try and make something happen towards this choke area. Onto a soldier right now. And there you go. We can see the damage come out as uh, the uber immediately gets popped on off. One for one, though, at the moment. Not too bad for Infused there. They're going to have to try and counter this one right now. Flash flagging all the way. He's already sitting on towards that middle point. Now going to drop out. Scout's not fighting him. Engineer's not fighting him either now. Ikeda going down. It's Broker Town, ladies and gentlemen. More second point. Yeah, and uh, that was a bit of a back and forth engagement there. But finally, uh, having that, you know, that sentry really helped. Uh, you know, maybe King infuse uh, having to fall back because crits don't do additional damage to sentries. And they also have that Uber. And uh, Sebusai still having that sentry. I think he's going to carry it into last. It's gonna, probably going to be a sentry cap or something. As long as he doesn't die, he might as well, right? Like, yeah, if yeah. You, this, this is the thing. Infuse has to focus well. Like, as soon as they see, like, as soon as they see the helmet of the engineer show up, they gotta focus him down, right? You cannot let an engineer walk in and build that sentry in your last. You really cannot make that happen. And this is, it's, I feel so weird saying that. It feels like I'm casting Highlander, which is very confusing because I rarely do that. You can see the Uber now getting popped off in main area. They catch some players off guard. Take one, take two. Can they pick off there onto two nuts as well? One shot more, ladies and gentlemen. He goes down. And Broder, 99% sure he's going to pick up this round. Kate is sitting on top of that, or on the back of that last point. He's going to go down the end. 2 to 1 to Broder at the moment. And with unlocks, Broder does a lot better on Gollywash than without unlocks, I'll tell you that one. Yeah, because they just keep putting Infused in a spot they've never been before, so Infused doesn't really have an answer for this. So it all depends, like, if your team is good at, like, improv strats, like you just do something new and it works. You will do very well, and I think actually Broder has prepared this because uh, when yep. they did the quick fix jump, it seemed very coordinated. It was not they were so they fast, did. right? Like they yeah. were unbelievably fast. You can see right now, Zebusai is going to keep running that heavy, and obviously it forces you to stand on the bottom. But it also forces you that if you run a sniper, you make those shots. And if you don't make the shots, it doesn't work. If you do make the shots, and that kind of happens when you have jukebox, you kill two nuts and you kill the entire enemy team before they actually cap that one off and get the height advantage. Jukebox is a mean sniper, ladies and gentlemen, with a heavy sitting in that main area. There's no way you're going to get to him. And jukebox is going to take pot shots on your team until you actually die out of that one. Yeah, I remember actually talking about this a couple of years ago, where like, hey, Sniper Heavy could be good in sixes, but everybody was like, no, no, you're crazy, what is this unorthodox play? But hey, we no, see it here and we see it working. We've we've seen it for years already, actually, on Freight multiple times, on Gully Wash multiple times, Snake Water has even seen it a little bit. As uh, And I think on Well it was the standard five years ago, but obviously, who, remind, who remembers Well? 
as we can see Broder right now making their way towards the second point. Got an uber advantage. I think Two Nuts has switched his way back well. Oh no, he's actually still running that crit screen. Let's see if Infuse can catch a couple of the Broder players off guard here. Let's see if they're going to get taken down. Uber gets popped off. Crits get popped off as well. Broder looking to get at least one pick out of this or something, but they lose one in exchange. As you can see right now, a two for one exchange in favor of Broder. Can they break through into this one? As Zebesite goes down, it doesn't look like it. It's a four versus three still. The flank of Broder is going to be absolutely crucial. We see Jukebox taking one down. Rip follows up on one as well. And there's still five seconds spawn times on the board as Tompa comes in. He cleans that one up. And Cookie puts the three to one on the board right there for Broder. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, Broder lost 5-1 two weeks ago in ESA. 5-2. Four days ago, or three days ago in ETF 12. And now, at, after the first half, they're 3 1 up here on Gollywash against the Infused. Yeah, Broder is like, who needs soldiers, right? We got heavies, we got snipers, <laughs> we got engineers. We don't it's need those no rocket soldier jumpers. Strat. No soldier to middle. Yeah, and it's working. That's like the worst part. It's actually working. But, uh. I know, oh, by the way, sorry, I have a quick correction. Nomlock is saying it was 7 2 on Gollywash. It was 7 2, but like, at 5 2, they sort of stopped playing. So that's kind of. Why I like to say it was only 5-2 on Thursday. They kind of stopped. They said GG after with three minutes left. So that's kind of the reasoning behind it. Official score was 7-2. That is correct. But yeah, go ahead. JP. Yeah, Sorry what I was just saying you. is that like when you do these new strats, you know what they're doing now and it's working. It's only a question of time. Like how long will it work? Like will it work forever? Mm. You know, how long until Infused, you know, figures out how to stop this. And once they figure out how to stop like the sniper heavy or the double engineer, there's, you know, it won't work anymore. And then they have to result to standard. Uh, it's very confusing to see at the moment. I'm trying to think about this because obviously in everyone's mind, this, it should work like this in everyone's mind as the second half goes live. Is that anyone who follows 6v6 religiously in the way that I commentate it religiously, this is weird. And in the same way that Infuse is fighting this right now, look at that. Here we go again. Marilyn and Riv together with the quick fix on top of that point, rushing towards that right hand side. You just lock them down super fast. And I don't think Infuse yeah. has an answer to this one yet. I like that they give their opponents literally no choice. They're like, well, we're going to go take Spire. And if you jump and get to, uh, try and get us, our heavy and sniper is going to shoot you when you jump uh, up there. So definitely a, a thought out strategy here. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's working for them. Look at this. They got, have a quick fix heal ready to go. But uh, they will be up against two nuts. Uh, crit, uh, crits Krieg here, which was, uh, I think it was. Yeah, it was used at the actually. moment. Let's see if they can actually break through. Zebesai, he's holding, he's holding. Now he goes down. It might actually be too late. Top was up. His jukebox all three pick up one. The crits, quick fix is still running onto this one. And there we go. Broder picking that one up. 1 0. And really, the problem you can say. Infuse mess that last hold up, but it starts at the middle. You cannot say, hey, if we defend last, we can win once. No, you gotta so, start winning middles first. What I wanna let's, know let's is see what how, the Infuse plan is here. Like, how do you deal with the medic on the point with the heavy and the sniper backup? Because that's what we're gonna be seeing again. They're gonna keep doing yeah, gonna go. keep doing this until it stops working. They have a soldier here. A soldier bomb onto jukebox seems to be the way to go, but obviously Zebesai, he's sitting there as heavy weapons guy, and with the gloves are running urgently, he's gonna be able to be there a lot faster than he normally would be. And six players from Broder still alive, four players alive from Infused. And Broder saying, you know what, guys, we have this quick fix thing. We're just going to hold this one off, regen our health very quickly, pop that one off, walked our way through choke. And let's see if they can get the damage done. Nope, the player's already gone. Looks like everyone from Infused is going to be perfectly fine, except for Thalashi. He gets taken down. But he's going to be the sacrifice needed for this Crit Screak to work, as I'm assuming Crit Screak. And yep. it is actually Crit Screak. So we're going to see that one coming in right here. They're not going to be able to block the point with it, though, sadly. Oh, but they have no engineers. Maybe that's why Zebsai... Uh... Oh, wait. Here comes the Crits. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. Kata so far has actually been pretty spot on with these Crit Screaks. He's been hitting a couple of those stickies. And Kata's actually... He's known for hating Crit Screak. He seems to be doing surprisingly well with it. I'll tell you that one. As Kadis manages to pick that one off, gets the damage done, breaks through the Broder defenses, and right now we're back to the drawing board. And tell you what, the drawing board involves Zebesai building a sentry gun and short circuiting around. He has been well, doing that. Well, you gotta that. counter that crits, man. You gotta counter that crits. This is what he's doing, right? Like, Zebesai, he, he figured it out. Zebesai went to the drawing board yesterday. He was like, okay, guys from Broder, listen, everyone listen. This is what we're gonna do. We have this short circuit thing that is allowed. We're gonna play with that. We're gonna do heavy, quick fix sniper to middle. Seems great. No soldiers because we have terrible soldiers. Zebesai Jukers with terrible <laughs> soldiers. So 
let's play without soldiers and do it this way around. I can tell you what, that Kritzkrieg is about to hit into last. It's going to get completely nullified again by those two short, short, uh, short circuit engines at the moment. Of which one changes right now, and the second one is still there. Where is Seversai at the moment? He's coming towards the top left hand side. Kritz gets bopped off. But so far, Seversai seems to be completely fine. Misses those stickies at the moment. You can see right now they're going to make their way in. Point again gets capped though. And just like the second round, I think, Edges are not very fast at walking towards a point. And that is the second time that Infused managed to hold that one off. A, a, a little bit of a crack in the, Broder, in the Broder strategy at the moment. But that's the way it is. Yeah, that, that engineer search circuit really didn't work out because you got to be in the right position and just Sebasai just wasn't. So once again, we have a very similar middle to what we've seen. Sniper and Heavy in the uh, garage area there. And uh, yeah, play from a few starting to die now. Three down. Big quick fix advantage here coming from Maryland. So they're going to be going, keeping this momentum going. So wait and see as Broder's just going to make their way forward. Obviously, they're on match point at the moment. Walking forwards, infused two nuts actually going down. Body shot from uh, from two nuts hitting onto oh. this one. We'll have to wait and see exactly what's going to happen as infused. They lose it right there in the process. Broder's going to just make their way in here, I guess. And he should be winning this one off. Probably five to two on the board. We have to wait and see exactly what's going on as Broder right now make their way towards that top hand side. They're going to probably try and push Riverside. It's a difficult one to two push outside that one. On two nuts two again nuts. going down. He shows that he can do it with a body shot, that he can do it with a headshot, ladies and gentlemen. Flank on the heavy is coming in. Is it going to be enough? No, T Mac, you can hit that guy with the stick all you want. But it's a Zebeside as heavy with so much regen. He's going to have no problem capping that one off. GG's are being called. And Broder picks this one up, 5-2, to two, showing how much they master these unlocks already. Broder, they have been looking at this. They've been looking, hey, you know what, screw this. We know how this game works. We know that with these unlocks, we can get an advantage out of this. And really, Gollywash, a map where Infuse destroys Broder from time to time. They even did it last Thursday. And right now, Broder just had their number, no problem whatsoever. Yeah, I really like what they did with the uh, medic jumping onto the middle point, like I said earlier. Because there's like, with soldiers, there's very limited damage you can do with that because of the sniper, because of the heavy. So it was just a really good combination and like usage of the new weapons and classes we don't usually don't see that often. So uh, yeah, definitely a new meta, or what do you say, Pledge? Yeah, new meta, at least for the time being. Obviously, these weapons are not allowed in the regular season of ETF-12, and the next season is only going to start in like September. But still, it gives time to it gives time towards the teams to practice, I guess. As I'm quite sure a couple of these unlocks are going to get thrown in. I'm not sure about every single one of them, guys. I'm really not sure. But is it have to wait and see how that one is going to one out. Look at that. Zemisai making his way in. Maryland making his way in. Uh, Zemisai, I'll talk to you in just a little bit. As uh, I'm going to get the close off right here. Get some music going live, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be talking to Zemisai here in just a little bit. And after that, I'm quite sure they're going to be facing Epsilon Esports in the grand final, which is a full best of three. That one will be going live in half an hour. Before that, we'll have a little bit of a break, and then we'll talk to Zebesai about these unlocks, about the strategies, about everything before the grand final. Guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 